Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Kevin Rempel, uh, 2014 Paralympic bronze medalist in sledge hockey. Uh, November men's health mental supporter, RBC Olympian, run for the kids, children's mental health supporter. And today I am uh, just speaking a little bit about Bell Let's Talk, the initiative on creating awareness around mental health today. <clears throat> uh, simply just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, if you don't know me and my story, uh, my dad was paralyzed and he ended up taking his life in 2007. Uh, I also received a spinal cord injury, paralyzed, learned how to walk again, made the sledge hockey team, uh, did really well with that. But uh, in the process, after my dad took his life that following year, I at that time felt like doing it as well. And the year after the Olympics, I felt like doing that as well. I've been very fortunate that I've been able to uh, get through both of those times. <clears throat> and in uh, my book that I've been writing, I actually share a lot more about what those experiences were like, but today I'm just going to take um, a minute and share with you a couple of quick tips of what has helped me when I was dealing with these, uh, with, the, with the, the struggles and the mental thoughts that I had. Uh, so number one is uh, if you're hot, if you're depressed, if you're dealing with um, you know issues, if it's suicide or uh, if it's something even not as big as that, but just whatever it is that you are mentally struggling with here. Number one, I would tell you to learn some self-awareness, become self-aware of your thoughts and recognize and admit to yourself that you are actually like struggling and dealing with something. Uh, it's very hard to do that when you feel like you've got it, you can handle it on your own. But the truth is, is that if you could handle it on your own, you probably wouldn't be at this point right now where you're struggling. So once you actually recognize that these thoughts um, need some attention, step number two, is to ask uh, ask for help to reach out for help and that could be in many different forms um, could be calling a helpline suicide hotline or um, family navigation project with rbc uh, movember's website has different resources and i know Bell, bell's website has uh, resources as well so you can go there and, and find out what might work for you what worked for me uh, was a mixture of those things over time, um, but also just reaching out to friends. Uh, you know, I reached out to family friends, uh, I reached out to my sports med doctor at McMaster University at the time, and I asked everybody and anybody for some advice on what they think I should do. And I started seeing different doctors at the time, and uh, I just had to like kind of try whatever works for me, you know, and you have to do the same, whatever works for you. So step number one is becoming self-aware. Step number two, would be uh, asking for help. And then step number three, which can be the toughest for everyone, is to actually accept help. You know, uh, my dad, when he was dealing with it, he didn't, we, he knew of the options available, but he wasn't willing to receive any help. He would kind of hear what somebody said, but he wouldn't try a medication. Um, he wouldn't go to any kind of therapy or leave the house. He'd only kind of just take the information as paper in front of him. But, uh, and I've had, you know, um, I know some other people too, you know, they're struggling with it. Some people have taken action physically to harm themselves. And um, thankfully, they nothing, it got to the point where we were able to help that person ahead of time. But one of the biggest challenges was that they would say, I've got this. And I would say, like, no, you don't have this because if you did, you wouldn't be at this point right now. So um, once you're aware of what you're dealing with, and you have help in front of you, the next piece, the, one of the hardest pieces of all is to actually accept that help. And that might be trying the medication, that might be just going to visit a doctor, having a consultation, or if someone in your family is suggesting that you uh, take a particular route, that you maybe just pick up that phone and make that call. So uh, it's nothing fun to talk about really, but uh, just to bring awareness to the situation and to let you know that it's okay to deal with that stuff. You know, people see me and my story, they know, if you know who, who I am and what I've been through, it's it's been a, a hell of a ride. But uh, as my book title says, I'm still standing. So that's uh, that's kind of the whole idea behind it is that, you know, I've been, I've made it through thick and thin and whatever you're dealing with, I know that you can too. So uh, if you could take anything from this video today, as we talk about uh, mental health and the stigma around it is just simply um, it's not that big of a deal we all deal with it in some one way or another uh, just become self-aware uh, know that you need to ask for help and then when you actually have help in front of you accept the help
Cheers, everyone. Thanks for your, uh, your support because many of your comments help keep me going. And I don't know who, if anybody will be impacted by this, but I have a good feeling that someone will. And all it, all it is is just to take the, uh, the courage to stand up, speak up about it. And if we can make a difference in one person's life, then, well, that's well worth it. So thanks very much.